G'day people, welcome back to the lab. We have an Apple Magic trackpad here today, otherwise known as a A1339 Gen 1. I bought this off eBay and it has a battery cover or cap stuck. And sometimes you might be able to see some corrosion around this area here as well. So let's start up all the test equipment and fix this trackpad. First of all, we have to crack the battery cap, which is this end of the trackpad. You can see a little cap here. And for this process, the easiest way to do it is to use a coin. Here in Australia, we will use a 10 cent piece. In New Zealand, you would use a 50 cent piece. Or, you know, in America, you might use a dime, whatever um, coin fits the actual slot in here and it just fits in quite nicely like that also you may have some corrosion here and we've seen on the keyboards we've repaired before in this section that you need the isopropylene alcohol and the gloves just to spray down this area and just to wipe down with the tissue just to get rid of any excess uh, battery acid uh, before inserting the coin into that slot. So all you have to do is get your coin and insert it into the slot and turn in an anti-clockwise direction just to undo, it, undo that cap. But if it's not doing the job and it's struggling, you may need a pair of pliers just to give you a bit of a hand to apply a little bit more torque just to try and crack that battery cap but if you have even more difficulty at cracking this due to corrosion um, from battery acid or whatever the case we do actually have another method you make a concoction of white vinegar and a couple of squirts of lemon juice insert the battery cap end of the trackpad making sure this acidic concoction just covers the battery cap but goes no further. And then let it soak overnight. The next day, put that opening coin in a vise, engage the coin in the slot of the battery cap and turn anti-clockwise. But if the coin is not cutting the mustard, you will have to use the destructive method this may damage your trackpad. Place the trackpad in a clamp with soft jaws. Only clamp around the barrel. Drill out both ends of the slot and the middle with a three millimeter or one eight inch drill. Create a nice deep slot like this. Put a big flat screwdriver in a vise. Put on some protective gloves and turn with a heap of force. Then remove the cap. Do not use your fingers. If the batteries come sliding out all well and good, fabulous. But if there's one stuck inside, we're going to have to go a little bit further. Get out your protective gloves and drill a hole in the top of the battery. Then drop a screw into the battery. Then get your multi grips and pull the battery out. Now we're going to clean our battery chamber. We've got our nitrate gloves here and we've got a pepper pig toothbrush. We're using this for two reasons. A, because it's a small toothbrush and B, you can't be pepper pig. So what we need to do now is pick up our trackpad and dip our toothbrush in a solution of isopropyl alcohol, 99%. Don't use rubbing alcohol, it's only 70% and it's just not good enough. And just rotate your toothbrush around all those threads 
working your way down the battery chamber back up again giving you a bit of a scrub where's some safety glasses here you don't know what's going to come flying out of our little battery chamber just make sure it's all nice and clean give it a good old scrub don't forget to work on your battery cap um, you can give this a bit of a scrub down don't be too fussed if this is actually destroyed because you can actually pick these off um, eBay for about you know a couple of dollars so if this is completely wrecked just chuck it out and uh, just buy a brand new one from eBay um, also when you finish using this toothbrush um, chuck it in your in the bin you don't want your kids getting hold of this and chucking it in their mouth because um, you've been cleaning all sorts of crud and battery acid with it and the last thing you want is um, having your kids chuck it in their mouth so there's a tip just throw it in the bin where your kids can't get to it at all have a look down the barrel of your battery chamber and just check that terminal at the very end to make sure it's nice and clean and shiny. If you need to clean that battery terminal, the best tool to use for this is a chopstick. You might be able to grab one from your local Chinese restaurant or you may have one in your kitchen. And the best thing to do is dip it in the isopropyl alcohol here, get it nice and wet, and then shove it down your battery chamber to the very end until it hits that bottom battery terminal and because the battery terminal is slightly concave in this area it will naturally find its center and you just give it a bit of a twist a bit of a wiggle and just work it around that metal terminal down there give it another dip back in again into our battery chamber and find the center of that terminal and just give it a bit of a wiggle, a bit of a rub backwards and forwards and a twist. Clean it up with the bamboo end of that chopstick. Get it all nice and shiny and clean. Put in your brand new batteries, positive end first. Screw in your battery cap. And we're all done. Hopefully this has helped you free up your stuck battery cover or cap. The moral of the story is always try and change your batteries at least every six months. If you're interested in repairing other stuff yourself, check out the rest of our channel. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Other than that, we'll see you next time in the lab. Thank you.